you can find this course on schooldesign.net. Join on Facebook website and group. The full course you can watch on Skillshare. In this class I will explain you how in uh, just few clicks uh, with only two source of lights and not many materials create a realistic view of the stairs so as you can see here we have the model with already applied texture and light and this is how the uh, render uh, look like so as you can see there is not many uh, things to do uh, we just need to add some uh, trees behind the texture and some primary lights for creating uh, this render so first we will start uh, with the shadows uh, the, those settings uh, I tested before and they will work the best uh, for this uh, scene now now let's we go to the v-ray asset editor and in the lights in sunlight i will uh, choose the standard options like filter intensive and size sky model i choose hosek at all with also default options here uh, then uh, we will go with the material override of course I also uh, created such a box uh, this is the box uh, which will simulate uh, the rest of the uh, room itself uh, then we have just some uh, trees from the Cosmo uh, browser and of course I also added uh, some uh, surfaces for the background uh, now uh, what we need to do is to add uh, before we start first render to check the preview we need to apply some materials uh, for the uh, glasses and and then we need to turn off the options for the material override so let's we go to the Cosmo browser and in the Cosmo browser I will search for glass frosted and I will import it to the material now we have it in the uh, V-Ray Asset Editor and now we can go to the glass here and apply the materials okay and we are done now we can right click and then we need to use select objects in the scene right click make a group now we need to select the frame or before that we also need to select the opposite sides and also apply the materials because we have two side glasses Uh, let's we check the settings here with the glass frosted first of all the reflection okay refraction this one also look correct I don't need to change anything okay 10 centimeters also correct one uh, in the assets editor let's we also uncheck can be override and this one also can be override so right now we are sure that uh, all those glass are transparency and 
let's we render to see what's happened so in the settings uh, medium cpu render output something about 200 denoiser those settings really as they are quality okay so after render as you can see it's totally dark uh, only lights that we have uh, before behind the windows so mm, first what we need to do is to add some additional source of lights because as you can see we have the camera here and this is correct but we are lack of additional light so in the V-Ray let's we go to the V-Ray lights and we need to add some additional source So the rectangle uh, should be uh, the best options here. Uh, in the V-Ray assets, the rectangle light is 30. So this one should be correct. Now again, let's we go back and render and let's see what will happen okay so as you can see render start to appear so what we can do is add some layers like curve uh, as a standard i just move uh, the maximum and minimum points then white balance exposure and noiser we already have it okay so as you can see some things uh, work uh, the problem is of course and uh, that there is no any bouncing uh, from the materials so this is what we need to apply the lights which will go through the mm, our glasses will be bouncing from the uh, texture and will hit additional surface and will copy all the information about the bright pixels to another one this is something that I explained in my whole uh, courses that you can find. Uh, so, uh, the next uh, thing that we need to do is to add the materials because mostly I work with the seven uh, steps uh, programs. So it's mean that we have seven elements and the first one is the scene this is what we already have here we focus on the models then we have the camera also we have applied and it's set correct then we apply the lights sunlight and of course uh, the rectangle lights which is sometimes called fill lights then we have the materials this is what we will uh, do in the next few minutes then we have render setup final render and of course post-production post-production which normally I will make in the V-Ray frame buffer so first we need to add the material for our ground so we'll start with the new uh, texture or material generic let's we call it floor
and as a, a diffuse I will use the texture something like this one and I will just put it here now uh, let's we go to the reflection mm, reflection I will set to white to maximum reflection glossiness to one the rest are uh, okay uh, then we have the refraction uh, for this we don't uh, use we don't need it so now we can apply uh, this texture to the material apply to selection uh, of course uh, first we need to change the size it will be 300 and 188 okay so we have it now we need also apply this material to all the steps uh, the same we need to oh no yes we because we have uh, the mirror one so this should be also apply automatically to the right sides so we have the stairs and now we need to create the materials for the rails and for the rest uh, elements uh, from our stairs for the step i need to again create the generic uh, let's we call it step and here as a material we will use something like this so I will also copy it to the diffuse uh, in the reflection let's remove it to the white reflection glossiness to one mm. let's we uh, use glossiness rest null and we need to change the size to 121 points 92 to 74 And now we need to apply uh, all the elements with this texture. So we will start with the stairs. okay we have it here in this one also mm, so now and the next part is of course uh, the glasses uh, the frame for the glasses we need to also apply the texture and here we will just add the material generic frame and I will just use it here the dark color something about and we can apply it directly to our 
frame from the glass. Uh, the next one we have uh, those lamp and here we can just add the gold material from the Cosmo so let's research for the gold and now we can apply to selection So there is still one thing that we need to add is the uh, white material panel for all the walls. So to do this, uh, we need to go again to the assets, create new material generic, and I will call it wall. And the texture I will use just simple white color, a reflection color to maximum, a reflection glossiness 0 0.9. And now we need to apply this to all white elements that we have walls just here, under uh, the stairs and uh, the roof. Okay, so by uh, mistake I just also removed the, the color from the stairs, so I need to fix it. So uh, now we are ready to make some test render. So let's go and see what's happened. Uh, we can turn on uh, the denoiser. Okay, so what I can see just right now we have too much reflection. Uh, at floor and probably also too much reflection in uh, walls so we need to fix it <coughs> so first of all we need to go to the floor and change reflection glossiness to 0 0.9 and the same with the wall also to 0 0.9 Uh, there is one thing that we need to do also with the uh, lights with the rectangle we need to go to the options and first we need to check as invisibility uh, them effect specular and reflection mm. The intensity should be correct. Okay, and now let's we make a render again. And now as you can see the render looks much better. Still a uh, few things that we need to fix is uh, we need to check if the size for this class is set correctly. And we need to apply the material for the tree behind and also for this one uh, flowers on the both sides. Uh, we need to uh, change two more things. First of all, uh, size of this window we need to change to two centimeters because it will uh, look much better then for this material we change also reflection glossiness to 0 0.9 uh, and what is more i will also uh, create additional materials for the vertical parts of this uh, rain so uh, I will just new add new generic material then I will just add the rail texture 
for the diffuse mm, for the reflection I will add maximum white color and 0 0.9 And now I need to apply this material to all the elements that we have here. So I need to select all of them and apply this material. So as you can see, it will take some time. Okay, and finally we have it. So now with all the settings we are ready to uh, render so we just set quality to high we v-ray denoiser uh, render output uh, remember to turn off the material override and we can start render and this is our final render uh, most I use uh, film tone mapping uh, with tone mapping space ACES. Uh, here I just make some adjustment. Also, I just added the exposure, white balance, denoiser, of course, and source light mix. Here I only change the rectangle uh, light one. Mm, sunlight and that was all so as you can see this is our final render so i hope that you enjoyed this course uh, i recommend to subscribe to channel and also subscribe and visit uh, my skillshare class because there you can find a lot of useful uh, courses for visualization